everyone, I'm Alison Rohde, Digital Editor at Creative Head, and today I'm going to be catching up with another one of our My Trend Vision Spotlight competitors. Today I'm talking to Aisha Buenacore from Hair Ven Salon about her Trend Vision journey so far and how it feels to have made the final and how just how her prep for that final submission is going. Now joining Aisha today is going to be her boss, Lauren Jones, um, who's the Artistic Director at Hair Ven, and she's going to be talking to me about the impact that the competition has on the salon as a whole and of course what it means to have Aisha and several other members of staff in the final. Let's talk to them now. How has your preparation been going? Um, really well. I did um, my mood board kind of the old school way, you know, with the paper and the pen and stuff like that. Um, my model, my model was actually one of um, is my partner's sister, okay. so I liked the way she had her hair texture and her, like the tattoos and piercings. So I used her as well. Um, I did some practicing on a doll's head as well before I did it because it was quite a complicated style and I was using um oh I can take bungee tape as well so I was I was trying to get that perfect so when I did it yesterday it was fine as well so yeah I think it's Great. gone all right so far good and so when you were coming up with the idea was it mainly the model you had in mind obviously you said um the personal connection there did yeah. you decide you were going to use her and then went right I'm going to think what I can do with her or did the idea come to you beforehand um a bit of both. I kind of wanted to use her anyway because she got me through to the regionals. So I thought, oh yeah, that would be like, I felt like a little connection. I was like, I want to use her. And she, she is an amazing model for me. I was just like, that's perfect. And the other thing is my, um, my theme was like a Japanese image. So I had some work on a family member's wall that was a print. So I kind of used that. And then also my background is art so I did art before I did hairdressing so I also used that with with it as well so I was using the architecture so like printing and architecture and um sculptures like Barbara Hathworth sculptures where they're curved and everything to kind of go with the head with the shapes of curved and round it's fascinating yeah. seeing sort of the two worlds collide in your mind there um, you mentioned yeah. you used bungee in some of the styling yeah. In terms of products, were there any particular product heroes that you yeah. used? Do you want me to show you? Yeah, Here's one. Go on. oh, yeah. So we had the Sebastian Dark Oil, which was amazing because Amelia's hair is Afro-Caribbean hair. So this was perfect to add all the moisture and stuff back in. And then, of course, Texture Maker, because it's got that nice, like, rough feel, so you can get that good texture on it. And then also, because I had some smooth, like, knots in there, I used the micro, fi micro web fiber, which was amazing. The Shape Fierce hairspray, of course, because that is an amazing hairspray to hold, especially at the top of my like, model's head. There was like a fuzzy texture going on, so I needed to create like a cloud. This was perfect. So, yeah, use that. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the, the entry process, the journey so far. Am I right in thinking this is your first time entering Trend Vision, isn't it? It must yeah, have felt um, very different how you expected it to go. Um, are you able to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so actually last year with a team member, I went to the finals to watch it. And that was amazing. The whole atmosphere watching all those hairdressers on stage with like the, the competitors as well. So I really was like, Yes, that's it. I want to enter. So I thought I'd give it a go and kind of see what happens. And just, I just did my image. My first image was just what I wanted to do. And then, of course, this one is another one that I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll push those boundaries a little bit more. So my first one was a little bit more simpler, whereas this one was a bit more with the techniques. So I was looking at different artists as well, like different hairdressers and their techniques they were doing as well that I saw on Instagram. Yeah, great. And Lauren, I just brought up a bit there. I saw her glancing towards you. In terms of um, the competition within the salon, is it something you've had people enter year on year? Is it something you encourage people to enter? 
Oh yeah, definitely. So um, we've been entering it for a few years now. We definitely did a lot better. This year is, is the year that we've really took off. We got six people through to the semi-finals and then two onto the finals, one being Aisha. So we're really, really pleased this year. Uh, we love the guys to do it. It's a perfect opportunity for them to express themselves, do whatever they want to do, let loose have a good play, try different techniques we wouldn't usually get to do. Um, clients love that, that we take part in these type of competitions because of the prestige that comes along with it. Um, so yeah, we definitely love to encourage everybody to do it. Great. And you mentioned clients there. On the business side, do you think it kind of gives this, this lifts the salon reputation in a way that if you've got people there who are um finalizing as sort of styling editorial styling specialists and things that when when clients walk in and see perhaps the trophy in reception it, it places oh my, my salons are, are won an award or the, the stylist at my salon won an award and it, it lifts things in that way as well Oh yeah, definitely, 100%. We have so many clients commenting because we've had a few awards for the salon in the past. So whenever they see them, they always comment and they love to know what we're up to, that, we, that we're keeping on top of new trends, new fashions, that we are forefronting a lot of things that are going along in the industry. So they, they love it. They love that our staff get the freedom to enjoy stuff as well. So definitely. Brilliant. And on the support side of things, how much involvement do you have with um, individual staff who've entered so are you are you there as sort of a, an idea bouncing for bouncing ideas off like soundboard for them or do you, do you help with photography give me an idea of that yeah, so anything we can offer to the guys entering we will do so we usually like to do it as kind of a team thing we've got an artistic team so as, um, especially when it's more the um, first photographic rounds we'll all try and help each other out as much as possible um, and then when we're getting people through we all then try and help those we kind of set the team little task can you help this Aisha wants this type of outfit. If anybody finds anything, go for that. We provide um, as much support as possible, the time, the resources, anything they need to help them do it and get as far as possible, we will give them. Brilliant. Um, Aisha, even if sort of this, this final stage doesn't bring gold, maybe silver, bronze, or just the experience of it all, what has um, competing in TVA 2020 kind of taught you or made you realize? Oh, just, I think my actual love for doing like the editorial kind of imagery, but the more pushing the boundaries one. So like learning the new techniques that I picked up from like different hairdressers, like I've said earlier, with um, some of them, I, I didn't even know the techniques. And then I, I heard a bungee tape and then I saw someone use it, another stylist, and I was like, that's amazing. So I thought I'd give that a go. And just, just just pushing, yeah, pushing those boundaries of, of hairdressing that we wouldn't normally do because on a daily basis, you do your normal stuff, don't you? Yeah. So it's just being that more creative, yeah. And I guess it, especially this year when everything in the salon did have to be put on pause, it was nice to have that creative outlet as well. Massively, yeah. Right. Um, Lauren, at this stage, as she enters the final process yeah. um what message do you have for Aisha um, just to believe in herself because <laughs> we are so proud of how well she's already done she has definitely got the talent to go as far as possible she just needs to have faith and trust in the fact that she's more than competent at doing it oh lovely and uh to both of you individually do you think you're going to be entering um in 2021 Aisha and Lauren are you going to be encouraging people in the salon to enter next year yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent, definitely. Um, like I say, the momentum for keep going for things yeah. like this is what keeps everybody motivated and inspired to keep bettering themselves and learning new skills and stuff. So to keep doing it is definitely the best way to keep everybody's interest peaked. Yeah.